Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, it's Paul. Just finished watching Kong Skull Island, uh, starring Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson, um, and uh, John C. Riley. Uh, directed by Jordan Vote Roberts. I'm not really familiar with a lot of his work, uh, but basically the movie is about a uh, a scientific quote unquote expedition to uh, a remote island that has things on it that may or may not be explained and uh, gets a military escort. Uh, some things that I really liked about this movie, if you like monster movies, this is for you. This is really a, a really, a, <laughs> it won't disappoint you in that, in that aspect. And if you're a Kong, King Kong fan, it won't disappoint you in that aspect. I really enjoyed uh, the time period they put it in, which was uh, 1973, just at the tail end of the Vietnam War. I thought that that was a really cool touch. So that led to a really good soundtrack. So those were, that was good. Uh, um, I mean, it was, they, they started quickly, got to the point, got to what needed to happen, and it really, uh, really executed on a lot of levels. I had a, had a cast that you would like, uh, which uh, um, kind of leads me into some of the things that I didn't like. I felt like uh, the dialogue was a little iffy. Some of the cast members just didn't have good chemistry on uh, on on camera with each other, and uh, it was a little iffy on the characters. But John C. Riley was great. He was just really great in this role. Um, he carried it. Some of his punchlines didn't 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 land. I felt like the the acting portion wasn't directed all that well. But the action portions uh, were incredible. Uh, I, you won't be like I said, you won't be disappointed. And the pacing is really, is really good. This was a surprising movie. I thought that this early in the year that it might be a disappointment, but I wasn't disappointed at all. Uh, you know, I really also liked some of the cliched uh, Kong and um, movie. Uh, old old style monster movie uh, compositions and shot types and stuff like that. I thought that was a nice touch. It wasn't as cliche as much as it was homage. Um, and I thought the director did a nice touch on those. And um, wasn't a stretch for the actors. Uh, it was an easy script. It was, uh, you know, but it was entertaining. Very entertaining. And uh, I think it's worth going to see in the theater. I recommend going to see it if you like it. Um, so just, just watch for some of those cliched movie shots. Um, the editing, man, they did a good job technically. Really good job. Kong looked real. Special effects, visual effects were, were, were great. Um, so it's just that with, with something like this, you can't really expect story to be and character development to be a huge strong point. They tried to do that a little bit here and there, but eh, sometimes it slowed the pacing down and parts of it felt out of place. Um, I'm glad they didn't force a romance. Uh, that would have really taken away from the movie. You saw hints of it, but nothing really forced, which was good. So, and if you're a John C. Riley fan, what you know, something to watch for is the phrase on the back of his coat. If you're a real fan of John C. Riley and his work, you get what I'm talking about. I'm not going to give it away, but look for that uh, quote on the back of his coat. But all in all, uh, Kong Skull Island was an enjoyable movie, and I think it's worth I think it's worth seeing in the theater. So, what did you think? Uh, tell me what you thought about the movie. Uh, whether you saw it, what you like, what you didn't like, and uh, not sure what I'm going to go see next week. So that's a surprise. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will uh, see you next time. Bye.